What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to Ad and Sales Copy. My name is Nick Mayer, expert copywriter that has generated more than $50 million for clients since 2020 and current copy chief and head of marketing at BusinessNet, one of the world's top advertising agencies that has generated $2.31 billion in revenue for clients over the last 17 years. I'm really excited about today because we are going to look at how you can leverage the power of chat GPT as a copywriter to streamline and optimize the process of market research for yourself. So we understand that market research is the majority of what copywriting is all about. It's the old Abraham Lincoln quote, of give me six hours to chop down a tree and I'll spend the first four to five sharpening my ax. 80% of copywriting is done before a single word is written or typed. We utilize this here, taking stock exercise to understand the stage of awareness of the client that we are looking to attract and that we are going to write our copy for. And then we fill out these 16, I think it's 16, yeah, 16 questions with all of these different dot points. This task here normally takes, you know, as you can see here, it's quite extensive. I don't know how many pages I have. I've got 10 pages. So this task here would normally take me upwards of an hour to do, to really sit here and consciously think with divergent thinking about, okay, what are all the different ways that we can go about this and the different perspectives and the different stories and the different realities and the different belief systems and belief structures and worldviews so that we can understand what we're trying to get our ideal client to agree with and then stretch those beliefs to create a reality where they can then agree with something different than what they currently believe. So yeah, 10 pages worth, okay? Look at it all. From pains and problems to perspectives to other people's perspectives in their life and what they, what they think that they're thinking and what they want to achieve and avoid and fears and frustrations and ambitions and desires and nightmare stories and dream stories and then emotions uh, and different experiences and then what experience could I give them and you know, what are the causes of the problems? What behaviors do people have? What stage of awareness are they, are they at? And as I said, so normally about an hour. This just took me 10 minutes. <laughs> and it is better than if I could have done it myself because now I am able to read through this and expand on it. And how it was done in 10 minutes is our good old friend over here, chat G. T. And it's so, so goddamn simple. All I did was give it a easy prompt here at the top. I run a youth academy gym for elite youth athletes to help them with their mental development as humans and their mental performance in sport. Who is my target market? Your target market is likely parents and guardians. Yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, very well, very well identified chat GPT because I used to run a business like this and we built it to six figures inside of a couple of months. And it was that we had two different target audiences. We could market to the kids and tie into their ego of wanting to be the best and seeing other kids having fun and achieving and being like, oh my God, I have to go there. And then we could target the parents and say, this is the perfect place for your kid in order to set them up and give them safety and security and hope and confidence and certainty and all of those different things and to make you feel like the best parent in the world and the envy of all of your other friends in your parent circles because your kid goes here. So it just identified this straight away. It also said that it may include coaches and trainers and organizations. And yeah, it does because we can then educate them on how to best help their athletes and come in and run workshops. And now, boom, we're starting to expand the marketing out even more. And then it's very simple. Like, what are their problems? Here are all of their problems. What behaviors do they have? Well, these are the behaviors that they have. What are the magic bullets? Well, there are none, but these are the things that will likely help them solve the problems that they have. What are the things that they should hear? Well, they should hear all of these things. What are the things that they want to hear? Well, they want to hear these things. Cool. 
who's another person's perspective that matters? It's this person. What is their perspective? Well, these are the things that they want. Like chat GPT is so goddamn powerful and it is so, so heavily and highly underutilized by copywriters. They fear it. They see it as a competitor, but it is a powerful and the ultimate collaboration tool because I can use this tool as a coach. Like I could have a conversation and say, hey, I'd love to talk to you about this. Can you please have a conversation with me with the perspective of Frank Kern, with the perspective of David Ogilvy? Yeah, I can do that. So I'm writing a headline and here's my concern about it. This is what I've got so far. What could I do to make it better? Can you please provide five examples? Boom, here you go. So I'm having a conversation with something and in a sense, someone that has a infinite web and wealth of knowledge to draw from and a processing speed that is fundamentally, fundamentally fucking faster than us humans. So essentially it's a, it's a free coach. Essentially it's giving me faster processing of all of this information to help me write better copy, but I'm not just taking it here for what it spits back. This is where I now get to bring my perspective and my experience and my skills and my understanding and my worldview to make it even better. Essentially, ChatGPT is laying the foundation and helping provide different perspectives much, much faster that we can then look at the information and process it to optimize it for ourselves. So this is where this is so, so powerful. If I were to be writing some copy now for this client, then I can come in here and I can start to pick out the key points, highlight them, and then expand upon them. Oh, this is a great idea and we can do this with it. All these current problems. Yeah, there is lack of awareness. Why is there lack of awareness? Oh, okay, because their attention's going to other places. Okay, cool. There's some content that I could write about that. This is a big a, a, a big pain point, this pressure to succeed. Parents feel that. Kids feel that. That is part of the zeitgeist. That is part of the cultural conversation that is happening. So if I were to focus on that in one of my angles or my leads or my ads or sales page, interesting. That could be the main desire of the type of person who I want to attract because I want to attract and work with the ones who want it, who are committed and who are like, I'm going to be the next fucking LeBron James. I'm going to be the next goddamn Juan Soto. I'm going to be the next goddamn Devin Booker. I'm going to be the next goddamn Lionel Messi. I'm going to be the next goddamn um, Naomi Osaka. Like just, okay, I can, I can attract those if I focus on this point. And we just keep coming through and getting so much great, accurate information. And as I said, 10 minutes, all I had to do is type in some goddamn prompts and just copy and paste it into a goddamn document and this is fundamentally better than if I would have committed the 60 to 90 minutes to sit here and do this myself because now I can commit that 60 to 90 minutes to do this and to make it even better than it currently is. So if you are a copywriter out there who wants to elevate and optimize your market research so that you can write copy that converts so, 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 so much better and also do market research for yourself so you can attract better quality clients who are willing to pay more without having to do any sort of outbound reach. You can do this for yourself and elevate your own copy. And as I said, it takes less than 10 minutes. Like utilize ChatGPT, guys. It's not competition. It is a collaboration tool. And the copywriters who are seeing it as a collaborator and not competition are the ones that are able to elevate themselves and differentiate themselves and create a category of one because they have one of the most powerful sparring partners or coaches or mentors or however you want to, to view it in their corner to help them be better and to help them work through obstacles and constraints when they come across them. So thank you for joining us here on this video. If you found value from it, please subscribe. Every Wednesday and Friday, Australian Eastern Daylight Time at 10 a.m., I share an expert copywriting video, either on the business of copywriting to help you build a six or seven figure copywriting business for yourself, be impossible to replace as a copywriter and attract for and 
five figure lucrative contracts every single week without having to get on Fiverr or Upwork or do any outbound marketing. We do a funnel breakdown of one of the best in the biz every Friday and sporadically I, uh, I have a passion and uh, a little bit of love for chat GPT. And I'm going to continue to shoot these videos sporadically to show you guys how you can leverage the power of it for yourselves. So thank you for joining us. As I said, if you found value, please subscribe. We'll see you on the next video.